Hi, I'm Jake with Arrow Building, and today we're at the house at Westmont's Edge. This is a remodel and multiple edition project that our company is working with uh, Madeline Slay of Slay Architects from San Antonio, Texas. And I wanted to talk with you today about air sealing. And one of the methods we do to ensure that we make sure we meet our goal uh, to make sure that we don't have to go back and remove things later on, uh, we test in three different times. Uh, the first test that we'll have is after we get the walls and the ceiling in, we'll leak test, we'll blow a door test. Uh, after we get our windows in, we'll blow a door test. After we get our insulation in, we'll blow a door test. We know pretty much what it's gonna be based off of that. We don't bother testing again after that. We're not required to, but we know that we've met what we're trying for. So 2012 IRC that we go off of here in Columbia says uh, no more than three air exchanges per hour at 50 pascals. We're gonna shoot for 0.58, uh, which is slightly better than passive house and we've met it before so that's why we just shoot for that every time one of the things that helps us do that is this zip sheeting uh, this opening behind me is a uh, we're in the master bedroom this opening behind me is a uh, window that outlooks into the forest basically behind this house it's a great view but you can't see that because we've went ahead and left everything on there for now we've even taped the seams on the outside so that we know that we're airtight that way we can come in and add our ceiling, our lid. Uh, once it's taped, uh, then we have a envelope and we're ready to test. Uh, leaving it in place gives us the ability to test just the sheeting, just the air sealing, just our sealant, which you can see here is uh, Trimco acoustical sealant. We have that all the way around every opening, underneath our bottom plate, across our bottom plate, and on all the seams of our sheathing. It gives us a little bit better air barrier than just this stuff by itself. Uh, the other thing that you're seeing here is you're seeing the backside of this product. This is zip sheeting, but it's their zip R. Uh, so it has a continuous R6 on the back of it. Uh, so this gets us our um, R19 assembly for this wall. Uh, it seems to work great for us. It's one of those things that uh, it's a wash in cost because it doesn't cost more than running Tyvek and we get our air sealing out of it. And so. This is the best system that we've found for being able to just track our progress. Uh, and like I said, after we cut the windows out and install the windows, we'll test again. And then after we've tested the windows and we insulate, we'll test one more time. If you need more information or if you'd like more information about Aero Building, look us up on aerobuilding.com and stay tuned for more from the house at Westmont's Edge. Thanks.